Yoruba language teacher Oluwafemi Awosonya is struggling to migrate his class modules to his online student's blog site. Awosonya says he spends several hours manually editing and correcting his notes before uploading to his blog because there is no speech recognition technology for Yoruba. Yoruba language is, in, is a language that has to do with signs. Yeah, it comes with a lot of signs on the, uh, the top, bit, um, below, you know. I need to go extra mile. When I'm typing, when typing my notes, I have to first type on Microsoft Word. And even when I type on Microsoft Word, it gives me this highlighting, like the words are not correct. Awosanya has been teaching the language for 10 years and says despite technological advancement, African languages like Yoruba remain neglected. It limits knowledge. It limits the exhibition of knowledge. There are things you might wish you want to educate the student on. There are wish you want to, things you want to exhibit in the classes. But because there is limited materials. There are over 2,000 distinct languages spoken in Africa. But researchers say two-thirds of these languages are not included in emerging technologies, making it difficult for native speakers to use technology in local languages. Researchers say this threatens Africa's technological future. Nigerian writer and language advocate Kola Tubosun is trying to address the problem by creating an online Yoruba dictionary as well as a text-to-speech machine that translates English to Yoruba. If a language doesn't exist in technology space, it is almost as if it doesn't exist at all. Um, that is the way the world is structured today, um, in that if you spend all your time online every day and the only language you encounter is English or Spanish or Mandarin or whatever else, then you tend to, um, it tends to define the way you interact with the world. And over time, you tend to um, lose either the interest in your own language or even your competence. Tubosun, who advocates for including African languages in technology, says the tech giants are starting to pay attention, but he admits the gap remains very wide. A lot of obstacles. Some languages um, are not written down at all. Some don't have scripts. Um, some have scripts, but don't have so many people using the languages or writing them in, um, you know, in education or using them in daily conversations. Language experts say it will take a long time before African languages are adopted in voice-driven technology. But in the meantime, researchers like Tubosun and Awosanya are working to adapt the Yoruba language for technology users. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News, Abuja, Nigeria.